There are people who suffer from aortic related diseases, which are life threatening conditions. People with those conditions have to undergo a surgery where a part of the aorta is removed and replaced with plastic tube graft. While this therapy works for adults, it's challenging for the youngest and children because those plastic grafts are limited by lack of potential growth. So they need multiple operations to replace plastic for a bigger one. Oh. What if we could develop a more natural vessel derived from patients' own cells that can grow with the children over time? And how is it related with cakes and pies? My name is Jagoda Itovchenko-Cybulska and I'm postdoctoral research fellow at IDBEL at Stem Cell Potency Group. Today I am excited to talk to you about one of our projects. We are working on rebuilding the structure of the human blood vessels. It's like building a tiny living system. To recreate the structure of blood vessels, we are working with cells called human-induced pluripotent stem cells or from blood. So they are exactly the same cells that the patient has. We specifically focus on turning them into building blocks of the blood vessels. We can see those building blocks as components of transportation system. Fibroblasts, similar to the road construction crew, lay down the foundation. They produce extracellular matrix. But not that matrix. The extracellular matrix acts as a road and bridges that are connected to form larger interconnected and integrated transportation infrastructure that connects various locations and acts as a complex highway system, allowing cells to grow within a three-dimensional environment to navigate and interact and function effectively within our body. Smooth muscle cells, resembling traffic lights or policewomen, regulate the flow of the blood through the vessels. These cells regulate the blood flow by contracting and relaxing. They also produce components of the extracellular matrix, such as elastin. As you can imagine by its name, elastin is a protein that gives crucial elasticity to our blood vessels. Endothelial cells form interface between blood and tissues, providing the guidance and regulating the vascular tone, much like road signs guide the drivers on the roads. We use a technique called 3D bioprinting to arrange the different cell types in a tube-like structure resembling a blood vessel. Conventional 3D printing typically uses material like plastic and involves high temperatures. In bioprinting, we use bioink. This bioink is composed of living cells suspended in the hydrogel. The bioink is precisely deposited layer by layer to create three-dimensional structure under controlled conditions to mimic biological environment. This allows to fabricate complex tissues and organs for regenerative medicine applications. And with the cells from the patients, it's like adding layer after layer in a cake and decorating it each time with specific ingredient. We hope that someday we will create custom-made blood vessel replacement that have the potential to grow and adapt with patients.